Salaam Greetings from Jochebed Vincent a native of Kalikabar on the eve of the celebration of the International Day of the World's Indigenous People Home to six tribe Andaman and Nicobar Island is an essential component of India situated at the Bay of Bengal The six tribe of these islands are Jarwa Ongi Sentinelese Andamanese Nicobaris and Shampen I am here to represent the Nicobaris tribe. I am from Ka Nicobar, which is a tiny island lying on the extreme north of the Nicobar archipelago. The Nicobar group of islands consist of Ka Nicobar, Chawra, Teresa, Kachal, Kamota, Nankori, Trinket, Pilomilo, Little Nicobar, Kondul, and Great Nicobar. The devastating tsunami in the 2004 has totally altered the village setup. Earlier, the villages were situated 1 km away from the beach. Now, the settlement is moved to the inside of the forest. In the olden times, the Nicobaris people lived in a large beehive house. Later, the design of these huts were changed to rectangular in shape. Post tsunami, government of India constructed tsunami shelter to rehabilitate the Nicobari. Hello, I'm so delighted to be speaking about the traditions of our Nicobari tribe. We are so blessed to be surrounded by the sea with lush green environment that has nurtured our lifestyles and traditions. With majority of coconut palms, which is 70% of the vegetation, we have learned to survive on this life-giving tree. From feeding the livestock to building shelters or using it for various purposes like oil and in food habit, the coconut palm has always been a prominent part of our lives. We are believers and I am from a lineage of four Christian generation. Our marriages are solemnized by a priest in a proper Christian ceremony and we practice both the matrilocal and patrilocal tradition of marriage. Islamic religion also coexists with Christianity but is in minority. I also take immense pride growing up in a community where adoption is not a choice but a way of life. You can find no orphan or a homeless person in our community since there is always someone to take care of. Which is why we live in a large joint family consisting of minimum 30 to maximum 60 or above members, which is called as Tuhet. We have an elected member as a head of a Tuhet. We jointly take part in community services like worship, sports and various celebration like the Kanahaun, which is a festival of pigs. It is a moment of festivity and joy. We take pride in showcasing the number of pigs we have, as it has been considered a paramount luxury and regards in our community. During the celebration, we participate in various games like wrestling, canaries and pig fights. Other than these sports, since our community has moved beyond its boundaries, whereas games like football, cricket and volleyball have been popular choice of interest among the youngsters. Festivals are incomplete without folk songs and folk dance. The essence of these songs is based on seasons of harvest and of nature. The costumes are homemade. For the men, it is dried coconut leaves wrapped around the waist and mostly bare from the top. And for women, it is a blouse for the top and a fabric called lungi for the bottom. To finish the costume, banana leaf is worn around the neck and a tender coconut leaf is worn like a crown on the head. Presently, our food habit is of two types. One is the traditional food and the other, which I would like to call, is a normal Indian food. For the traditional food, we are entirely depending on the available resources around us, like the coconut palm, pandanus and tapioca as a main course, usually served with pork, as in boiled or soup. Catching seafood is also another mode of our eating habit. We have goats, cattle and hens in our livestock, which as well is a part of our staple food, pork being the prominent one. And art is inspired by the nature around us, from collecting shells molded into home decor to miniature of round hut and canoes. Art has been a form of self-expression as well as of earning livelihood. 
Some people still have the superstitions of supernatural and black magic, which have been another interesting talk among folklores. On the other hand, the practice of making herbs and oils have been used to cure illness. Albeit, praying and worshipping have miraculously cured diseases too. Our tribes have survived through different calamities, both natural as well as the impact of changing world. Head on marching into a progressive community rooted with our culture and traditions. We live in peace and harmony. Being a Nikobari tribe, I am privileged to speak on the difficulties and issues of our Nikobari's community during COVID-19 or any other crisis. Home to our Nikobari's tribe, Nicobar Islands are situated away from the capital city Port Blair, separated by 10 degree channel which is a difficult channel to be crossed. Nicobaris community have lived here in isolation with the limited contacts with the capital city, country and the world at large. So far, the Nicobaris community have witnessed two major crises, one being the 2004 tsunami and the other the novel coronavirus. The former strikes the entire Nicobar Islands ranging from Chavra, Teresa, Kachal, Kamota and Campbell Bay Island. Our community was left homeless with no food and clothing too. Near about 2,955 tribals died of the tsunami waves. Since the evening of 26 December 2004, our Nicobaris community had to live in tents at the elevated area of each village in our island. The main issues during this crisis in the islands was of the basic needs and education was badly affected. Until 2010, when each family in our community were allotted, government made permanent shelter. The crisis brought changes in the life of the tribals and the tsunami waves took away the lifeline of the tribes, that is the 70% vegetation of coconut trees. Later, after 17 years of the 2004 tsunami, our Nicobaris community was in panic due to the outbreak of novel coronavirus. Moreover, when India suddenly announced its COVID-19 induced lockdown on 24th March 2020, those tribals who are living in some parts of Chavra, Kamota, Kachal Island were in panic because they don't have electricity and connectivity. During both the crisis, that is the 2004 tsunami and the novel coronavirus, as observed, a Nicobaris community have faced the following issues. The first, connectivity problem. Our community faced the communication network issue and due to the lack of connectivity with the capital city, country and the world at large, they are deprived of the ongoings in and around the world. And also, in terms of education, the tribal students face issues as the study mode went from offline to online. Also, there was no ship plying to the islands, due to which our Nicobaris community had to face non-availability of rations, LPG cylinders, medicines, etc. Number second is the health problem. In many parts of the islands, the government hospitals also being said and the primary health centers do not have proper infrastructures and specialized surgeon in common. Moreover, during the crisis of COVID-19, people had to be evacuated to the capital city to get proper treatment. Although strikes by crisis like the 2004 tsunami and COVID-19, our Nicobaris community survived through these crises with the help of local system like Tuhet in a village and their unity. And of course the tribal councils which are total seven in numbers in the islands 
acting as a bridge between the government and the Nicobaris community. Coming to the Sustainable Development Goals in context of the Nicobaris indigenous people, the Government of India has launched various schemes like Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Ujwal Yojana, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana, National Rural Health Mission, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act and Swash Bharat Mission for the betterment and development of the nation. All the programs have been implemented in these islands and Nicobaris have complied accordingly. The word development may mean different to each individual, but probably all may agree that ultimately the goal is to make people happy. The Nicobaris people in general are most contented people and they have the ability to adapt in every situation. The Nicobaris lives in communities and properties are shared among the communities. They know how to enjoy life by sharing happiness and sorrow alike. Some of the problems that the Nicobaris confronts today due to COVID-19 pandemic are that their movement is restricted from one island to another. The people who are seriously ailing are not able to reach Port Blair or mainland to avail the medical facility. However, I am pleased to say that the Nicobaris are little affected by COVID-19. The impose of a strict lockdown and not allowing the movement of ships from Port Blair to southern group of islands, that is Nicobar group of islands, is the major reason that COVID-19 has been contained well. But the lockdown also leads to the halt of ration supply to the people on which the people are relying. Since the introduction of the ration items, LPG for cooking, petrol for vehicles, the Nicobaris are facing difficulties in times of crisis like these when the ships from Port Blair are not able to sail in the rough sea or if they are prohibited to, to ply, so to protect the indigenous people of the island. There was never a water crisis in Nicobar group of island because pre-tsunami surplus wells were dug in every villages which were destroyed during tsunami. But post-tsunami, the people are facing scarcity of water. Even though the connection of tap water has reached every home, the water is not supplied well. There is a need of rain water harvest in the Nicobar Island, so to cater the needs of the people. The frequent ply of ships between the islands is required so that the people may move freely according to their needs and the peop and the supply of ration items lpgs and petrol may be unhampered the problems are little and are able to be resolved but as i said earlier that we are contented and are able to adapt in any situation in short fit for survival so to conclude i would say that Hurdles or crisis can't break the chain of our community, but rather all the more they strengthen our community.